Hey, this is Jordan. I'm here with the team at Eight Flags Playscapes. I know my kids, along with every kid in the area, love the pirate playground they built, but today I'm getting a look at their latest project, Egan's Creek Park. Located off Atlantic Avenue, just west of Main Beach, and at the north end of Egan's Creek Greenway, half of the community will have just a short walk or bike ride here. I can tell you more about it, or we can talk directly to the team that headed up this whole project. Uh, my name is Aaron Morgan. Um, I'm the president of Eight Flags Playscapes, and we are in charge, we're the developers of Egan's Creek Park, the new Egan's Creek Park. Um, Eight Flags Playscapes is dedicated to the enhancement of the community by providing recreational um, amenities that are accessible to all. So our goal is to, to provide a place for people of all abilities the opportunity to enjoy this beautiful park, Egan's Creek Park, without limitations. I'm Nan Voigt, the Director of Parks and Recreation for the City of Fernandina Beach. And the city has had the privilege of working with Eight Flags Playscapes for over 10 years now. The first park being the Pirate Playground, which was very successful. And due to that success, the funds kept coming in. And so the park we're standing in, Egan's Creek Park, um, was a very underutilized park. The playground equipment was old, deteriorated. So Aaron Morgan and the group came back to the Parks and Recreation Department and said, we'd love to partner to enhance the Egan's Creek Park. Of course, you know, we're not gonna say no. So we came up with a plan, or they came up with a plan, and the city's part of the funding was uh, to build the pier and the kayak launch, which we use impact fees to do. And the rest of the funding, which was the majority of it, came from Eight Flags Playscapes. And the park is um, due to be open in a month or two. And we're very excited and it's been a great partnership and we hope to continue it. Uh, we're not, we don't complete these projects without the community. These are truly community-based projects, as you can see with, with all the companies that have given their services to help us. Um, we also need the local, we need people from this community to help out. We need people to come out here and help uh, put together benches, uh, paint the pavilions. We need some of that. Uh, we're going to be planting some plants very soon, um, so we'll need that, that kind of help also. Um, we still are in need of, of some money. Um, it's not built for free. We, we, we have some more work to do here. Um, we hope to build a playground here eventually, so we are still taking donations. We're, we're in a good spot now to where we can have this place up and running very soon, but we do need the community's help. Added fishing dock, kayak launch, pavilions, state-of-the-art lighting, bathrooms, binoculars for bird watching, and cutting-edge exercise equipment along the fitness trail. To say I'm excited about this place is an understatement. To stay updated on what they're doing at Egan's Creek Park, follow 8 Flags Playscapes on Facebook. Thank you so much for watching. For more videos like this about our community, like and follow my page.